This 14th shloka of the second chapter. O son of Kunti, the non permanent appearance, happiness, and distress, and the disappearance in due course are like the appearance and disappearance of winter and summer seasons. They arise from sense perception of Sayanabharata, and one must learn to tolerate them without being disturbed. The shloka can be taken into so many dimensions. For simple, let us see what is happening in the battlefield.
Arjun is too much conscious, I'll be happy or I'll not be happy. And Krishna gave him the knowledge that you're not the body, you're spirit soul. Okay. So nobody is killing on the battlefield because nobody's soul never dies. But then immediately when somebody, you know, tells you like that, the question will be this, that's fine, this knowledge is <coughs> fine, but when I see my grandfather dying in front of me, when I see my teacher dying in front of me, it pains me. Correct? At least in India, everybody understands this fact. But in reality, it happens when death occurs and the person is pain. So Krishna says, that's fine, you have to tolerate, that's all. <laughs> You see, it's like, you know, Arjuna doesn't ask this question, but Prabhupada does mention in one of the lectures. So Arjuna, when Krishna told Arjuna, you see Krishna, that actually you're not killing anybody because soul does not die. But Arjuna says, Krishna, that's fine, but I see my grandfather dying, my teacher dying, it pains me. So Krishna says, yes, you have to tolerate, that's all. Nothing else you can do. Correct? Okay? You have to tolerate. Now this tapas, is something which actually is an ornament of an individual if it is properly directed. It can become the greatest ornament of an individual. Therefore, India is called Tapo Bhumi. Hey, people are voluntarily ready to take some tapas, tapasya. Without tapasya, you cannot achieve anything. Okay. Therefore, now you see in the purport, Prabhupada starts with something. In the proper discharge of duty. Okay? Now, so many doctors here, when you have work to do, doctor has a work to do. Sometimes it is very elaborate. Surgeons means six hours, eight hours surgery sometimes. It's not very pleasurable. It's sickening. Maybe I like to go and enjoy myself in some other way. And you have to be there on the job. It's not very pleasurable. But <coughs> proper discharge of duty. You have to tolerate it. Uh, sometimes I remember uh, we had didn't have such difficulty, but some labs used to have three, four hours you have to stand. It's really painful. And no chairs they will keep purposefully. <laughs> so you have to tolerate. You can't do anything. Now similarly now you see the weather, it is so hot. Tolerate. You can do. If somebody gets malaria in this, somebody. <laughs> now what was happening today is that people have forgotten what is their real duty. Their duties are on the platform of body. And as much you try to satisfy people on the platform of body, they will never be satisfied. The greatest example is Gandhi. <laughs> he really tried to sacrifice his life. At the time, people put a gun and shot him dead. Sir, not satisfied. What is the meaning? Not satisfied. You work as much as possible. Even first take your own self. I go far. You try to satisfy your bodily platform. We know it does not work. So how can you satisfy anybody else on that platform? Hmm? It's a platform of illusion. You can't work on that. Therefore, Krishna has brought out the concept in the previous two, three shlokas that we are not the body, we are soul. In fact, today I have properly subtitled it with one, two, three, four posted on YouTube. Eight proofs, we are not the body, we are soul. Somebody can see that on YouTube. Can't, that class was last time, spent a lot of time on it. So now, after understanding that I am not body, I am spirit, soul, where the Gita begins, real duty starts at this point. And when you take to the duty of satisfying the Lord, because the Lord is part and parcel, just like the body is part and parcel of the mother. Okay? Mother always tells, Beta, tu mere sharir ka hi bhaag hai. Always the mother has a conception. And correct, mother always feels like that. It's part of my body only, therefore perfection. But actually, even though it is true to some extent, it's an illusion also because the body is not the person. What you're feeling in the person is the soul, not the body. But why do we have that feeling? Because Krishna has that feeling. Because we are part and parcel of Krishna, which is the truth. 
because soul is part and parcel of the Lord, like sun ray coming from the sun. Agree? So why? Because a drop of water has quality of the ocean. So similarly, the affection the parents are showing towards the child is only a drop. You cannot imagine what intense affection Krishna has for each one of us. There are some cases you know, where the parents abandon the child. They say, you know, sometimes children do murder and you know? all. Parents take to the police station. He is no more our son. Please arrest him. Correct? It has been cases. They say he is no longer any relation to us. You can go, get lost. But Krishna never says get lost. So intense is the relation. So intense love. And from our side, therefore, we have to come forward. And my first duty is to serve the Lord. God is great. What does it mean? God is great means you are small. Nowadays, the idea is God is great. I am also great. <laughs> you are not great. Then what is the point? God is great. God is great means you are small. And the business of the small is to serve the great. That is natural, no? When you see somebody is great means you come forward. Can I do something? So business is to serve the Lord. That is my primary duty. And when you take to that duty, you have to tolerate a lot of inconvenience in this world. Lot of inconvenience. Generally what happens when you are doing the duty to the Lord, which is primary, we try to see your material duties don't intersect. We try to balance both. Okay? But sometimes you have to tolerate. Therefore, Krishna Consciousness begins with Trinata Biswani Jena Tarora Pisahishana Amani Namana Dena Kirtaneya Sadahari. You have to tolerate. Now we went to the so many people today, went to the beach and doing Harina. So many people are laughing also. And this all we rejected and threw in a dustbin. It is as if you pick something from dustbin and take it out. Correct? There are so many people who are so called Hindus or Indians, they don't participate. They have rejected all this. <laughs> what they are doing this? We are thrown in a dustbin. Suppose somebody picks something from a dustbin and picks out. Not really like I have thrown it. Correct? This all we have forgotten a long time ago and these people are doing what is all this. You know, they not look very respectful. But some people encourage. <coughs> That's fine. What do you do? Tolerate. Prabhupada says, you take up the mission to serve Krishna. Be sure nobody will help you. Be sure about it. Because people for them, the duty to serve Krishna is secondary. Secondary. They all their family duties are because they live on a platform of illusion. Krishna people take for granted. Krishna will be very happy. You know, in a house, suppose one person is there, or sometimes we have one guest. How much we are careful that he should not be upset. Correct? What to tell, what not to tell, how much we have to be careful for every individual in this world. True or no? Are we careful or not? After marriage, we are so careful. Get upset or Child is even for a child, you have to be careful. If he start crying, Krishna, we are taking for granted. He must be very happy. He must be very happy. And I have no duty towards him. Most of the people, you know, they have the conception. God has sir a mission in this world. Not that you know God is there smiling. He has a mission in this world. Therefore, he is telling Arjuna, you have a duty to do here. I have, I have not come to this world just for smiling. I come with a mission. Correct? Many people, God is there and do whatever you want. What is the nonsense? God comes here, he is angry at certain things, he is happy about certain things. Therefore, Bhagavad Gita Krishna says, no? Some people say, Swamiji, why do you criticize? Why do you say some people are fools, some people are good? Krishna says so, no? Paritranaya sadhura vinashaya jutushkitam. Krishna is differentiating, no? He has not created this word just for loafing around. Okay. Many people think like that. He has not created. Okay. Krishna has a mission in this world. And if you participate in that mission, that is very pleasing to the Lord and that's your duty. And if you hang around, space around, then uh, it's your misfortune. So this is this principle actually can be taken to solve anything now in this world. Nowadays there is a big debate going on. Everybody is talking. Every political party wants to give opinion. Same-sex marriage. Take it derived from here. Tolerate. 
No, no, have that desire. Tolerate, sir. Because everything is sinful except having a child. Sex for having a child, everything else is sinful. Correct? So where you can have a child, same sex? So you have to tolerate that desire. No, I have that desire. Tolerate, that's all. <laughs> One boy was there, was chatting with me. Sir, I am chanting 16 round, 18 year old boy. What to do? About it? Tolerate. What can be done? It will go away. Just like a season comes and it goes away. Now the modern day thing is, I have to satisfy everything. Sir, that is animal life, not human life. You are an animal or what? No, no, animals do it. Huh? They do it, but you are an animal or human being. What is this logic? Nowadays it gives this logic. No, in animal we see, they do certain things. No, you are a human being or you are an animal? You are a human being, no? Tolerate. This power to tolerate does not exist in animal kingdom. And if somebody does not tolerate, next life is animal waiting. Because see what happens, we explain many times, animals learn by experience. Human being learns by hearing. To learn by experience is a privilege of animals. But to learn by hearing is a special privilege of human beings. Animals learn over many, many lifetimes of the sensual enjoyment. Gradually they learn that sense enjoyment will not make me happy. Then they come to human life. Human life is 80 lakh forms they are going through. Varieties of sense pleasures which you can imagine are given to them. Correct? Each body is a vehicle. And you see in dif a different vehicle. Nowadays somebody told me, they got a you know license for the scuba diving. They were nowadays rich sports is that. One thing is that jumping from mountain and one thing is going down, they get a license for this many meters, this many meters. Rich youngsters do that. And he was talking about <laughs> I said, that's fine. But what danger is it? What is the danger, sir? The danger in next life, you may become a fish. <laughs> because the desire you're cultivating, cultivating. Krishna, you feel, why so much risk? Because, you know, the danger is half an hour something with all oxygen tank, they go. Something happens, the tank, they, they go in a group. They never go alone. They're always in tension because something happens, you're gone. And some dangerous fish may come. So best is Krishna saying, why don't I make you a fish? You can enjoy so nicely. Okay. So this is not a platform that I do what I enjoy. I know the platform is duty. Everybody talks about, they say Bhagavad Gita means do your duty. But Bhagavad Gita doesn't talk about doing duty on bodily platform. Talks about doing duty on truth. See, we don't have to avoid the truth. Uh, the truth will crush you. Uh, so it's, there's a famous saying, if you avoid truth, one day truth will come and crush you. You should accept the truth. I am not body and spirit soul. Uh, it is coming from the best authority. The greatest authority is saying so. Even the reason and logic he has explained, you can read in Gita. But now Prabhupada has taken some nice examples also. A woman does not hesitate to cook in the kitchen, even in the months of May and June. We all have been benefiting. Correct? Uh, that is, nowadays, uh, they don't cook. They say, let us go to a restaurant. And they will not cook. If it is hot, hey, I can't cook. You cook. <laughs> but previously, <laughs> mothers, we, we all benefited. Correct? They used to cook. And even, you know, it is terribly. I have stayed in Delhi, where it is 40 degrees plus. It is very hot. Here at 30 degree, you know, people are crying in the kitchen. There is 40 plus. It is very hot. But people tolerate they do that. So this is actually a principle. It's a principle of duty. But if you bring the duty on the spiritual platform, that becomes a perfection. But even on material platform, principle of duty will make the society so wonderful. So wonderful. So wonderful. So he was, he was similarly Prabhupada is saying, just like you know, weather is there now, the, uh, now we are lucky here, but in some parts of India it is winter. As you know, uh, two degree, three degree, so they are suffering as some parts of the world is very, very cold. So how, what they are doing? Nothing. Tolerate. So you may do as much possible. And what happens that actually, if, if we increase our tolerance capacity, we save our time for spiritual activities more and more. You know, today people are so much after, you know, this cushion is there now. It's comfortable to sit, but some scientists will say, and I'll do some research to make it more comfortable. Two, waste of time. You can sit on a mat also. It is available we use, but it's not that if that is not there, I'll go mad. 
just like sometime in car AC is not there, people go mad. It is there or not there, it doesn't matter. It is there, okay, use it, but if not there, tolerate. The tolerance capacity is very much needed because why? Nothing higher to do. I, I remember once an example. I just joined the temple and you know, but all crazy atmosphere we all come from. Not the mind suddenly becomes calm. So it gone somewhere and then we had gone temple construction and met so many people. I was like coming back, you know, this place we have stayed, a lot of women were there. So I came and told the vice president, see, it was not a very pleasant experience. We are surrounded by so many women. He said, so, you forgot them for what purpose you had gone? Therefore, this will trouble you. Correct? When you always are conscious, I have a great mission of the Lord, you can tolerate the urges of the senses. When you forget this basic principle, Correct? Suppose you go to hospital. Now you have an operation to do. Patient is about to die. Instead of that, some movie is there and you are busy with that or you know, mobile also nowadays you can watch movies, you are busy with that, patient dies. People will say, what? You forgot your mission. Correct? So if you always remember that for what purpose this creation has been made by the Lord and always remember what I am supposed to do to fulfill the mission of the Lord, where is the time for idle mind devils workshop? There's no opportunity actually. A Krishna conscious man has no opportunity. Prabhupada says it is very difficult to purge out the negative things which harass us. But it is very easy if you fill in on our heart with Krishna's mission. It's always easy to add positive and very difficult to remove the negative. They say no, in the army men is in the war. Sometimes he is injured. He does not even know that. Even sportsmen, they are in the match, in the football, they do not worry. They have some injury. They come out, they can't walk also after the match. They can't walk also because actually because they are absorbed, they forget that. True? It happens. You know, they have done so many studies also. Right? When you are absorbed in certain thing, you don't even notice so many other factors. The same way, when you are absorbed in Krishna's business, Huh? You will not even uh, be aware that Maya came to harass you. Yes. Just like we gave the example so many times. Now we are busy here. We don't know what's happening on the road. We people are fighting also. We got saved from that because they are busy with something positive. But okay, but still sometimes because of our previous tendency, there may be the harassment of the mind and senses. Or there may be, you know, so many things. There are three kleshas. Adhyatmika, Adi Bhautika, Adi Devika which always harass us. This word is made for suffering. What you should do? Tolerate. So. Now why Krishna has made this word for suffering? Because that is the only way they are triggered for spiritual advancement. You tell in a college, you say that there is no exam. Oh, you tell, nobody will come to the class itself. You open a course, say, there is no exam, all of you will pass. Forget about studying one letter. They will not come to the class itself. He already said, sir, that he is going to pass. <laughs> Therefore, what the teacher does next? He starts putting quizzes, exams. So similarly, in our life, if more and more you become responsible, suffering will reduce. Less to tolerate. Because all the sufferings are actually coming in our life as a trigger for you to think about the Lord. Just like an exam is needed as a trigger. You know, I told you that example. Many people say, I don't believe in God. Do one thing. Create a situation, but you have to be careful, even see you nowadays. Create a situation that the death is coming. Just learn, look at it from a distance. You know, I told you the famous instance when an aircraft was about to crash. And the pilot informed them, I'll try to save you. I'm not sure. <laughs> but I'll, tr I'll, not try I'll try not to kill any one of you. What are the problem? Problem of some accident happened, you know, some leakage happened. He lost control of all the engines. <coughs> there is a hydraulic something, it went away. He lost control. Uh, and only he has aerodynamics with him now. He is trying his best. Maybe one engine is remaining. All the tail engines are gone. These engines are gone, left and right. Some tail engine is there, some two, three, one is remaining. It's pretty difficult for him. And he told them, 
and actually the aircraft landed just before the runaway some distance and it half the people died half survived so they were there was an interview they did of the people what was everybody doing an announcement came the plane has lost all its engines okay and there is a danger to the life he says people said there was no shouting nobody was howling everybody was praying <laughs> that's a fact by by because we are human being that uh, devotion to the lord is there in the heart somewhere but what is needed is that that is there just like we were discussing in the morning according to capacity you can realize god at this point our capacity is very less you have to realize god not in the personal features of his past times you have to realize god by seeing the sun see the creation of the lord that is your capacity that that level you have to cross first you got it my capacity is so less i can't directly understand god's past time now i have to see his creation and understand his greatness from that that is allowed for me and as my advance more and more that is called powerful devotee powerful <coughs> means this desire to serve the lord is intense so intense that it lord become purchased by that correct therefore they say the desire the greatest personality having the most intense desire to serve the lord is radha rani so we always worship krishna with radha krishna so her desire to serve krishna is so intense no comparison okay so we have to therefore in good association with such people who have intense desire to serve the lord in the association we have to that spark we all of us a spark of desire to serve the lord some god consciousness we have to make that spark you know just like a fanet and book fire should come out then life is success otherwise serving is there serve can't go away because that is the nature of the soul but it serve kama krodha lobha all the rubbish you know all the serving you cannot stop if you do not serve the lord you have to serve illusion choose choices here so voluntarily we can come forward to serve the lord actually nobody can avoid service to the lord because service to kama krodha is also indirectly serving the lord only so therefore we come forward let me come forward and serve the lord my life is saved otherwise you know god so one has to follow the prescribed rules and regulations why because in the beginning stages now we say like you give up sex desire it's not a possible for everybody okay you accept the rules and regulation that one in nimritti at least you accept pravritti pravritti niyama marga means it is regulated when you act on a regulated regulated platform is what sex to have only a child that is a regulated platform when you act on the regulated platform what will happen gradually yesham tu antagatam papam janana punni karmana te dwanda moha nirmuktam bhajate maam pranavrata so anyway so when we act in a regulated way gradually we come to the platform of knowledge therefore in every religion regulations are there and without regulation no urge is there tolerate now i want to smoke now tolerate now it is it is but i want to drink yeah i want to drink tolerate that urge is there but tolerate and there is one very important point i'll close with that the point is this robert gives this example of controlling the senses tiger so suppose i am addicted i will be addicted to any vices if you want to stop it immediately it is not possible can okay? suppose there is a drunker nowadays how much 50% 60% proper than in america is counting 52% americans are drunkards i heard proper i think it is less okay 50% <laughs> but today it is the same situation in india so the urge may be there because of bad association we have learned that stupid thing even doctors surprise so much they learn how much damage it does till they drink 
because no aim of life. They don't know what is what is their duty in this world. Nothing. Like dogs running here and there. So now what happens is that immediately suppose I am a drunkard. I can't stop it. What I should do? What do people do? They go to a rehabilitation center. What happens in rehabilitation center? Everything is there and they surrender to all the rules and regulations there. They are locked up in a place where liquor will not be given. So he surrenders his freedom. And then they may give some other things except liquor. And for 10-15 days later, then they talk to him. How oh, it is not good for us. These are the medically bad things for us. Why they don't tell in the first way? He can't handle. Mind is so strong. Can't handle. The same way example is given of a tiger. Suppose you capture a tiger in a forest and you want to make him a circus tiger, correct? Because even an animal can be trained. Why can't you train yourself? A beast. You know, circus, whatever, obey. You obey. Actually, a tiger doesn't like to obey anything. He can be trained, though. Why we can't be trained? We should have that kind of a faith. Oh, it is not, it is a, a tiger can become a gentleman. <laughs> Why I can't become a gentleman? In the, some sense. Still, they are dangerous, but still. So, now what do they do actually? They starve the tiger for a few days because they immediately enter the cage. He will eat you. <coughs> they starve him a bit for some time. They don't kill him, but starve him a bit. They make him a bit weak. And then he enters the cage with a whip. If the tiger tries to attack, his strength is less and he can easily control. So that signifies your own mind which is addicted to so many things which are wasting my time, which are not allowing me to fulfill the mission of the Lord. We want to fulfill the mission of the Lord in this world, at least those who have understood. But so many time wasters are there which are not allowing me. Correct? TV is there, newspaper is there, gossip is there. We can make a list of them which are not allowing me to participate in the mission of the Lord. What you should do? Like a tiger, starve them for some days. Just starve them for some days. Because suppose somebody is addicted to something, tell him it doesn't make any meaning. Suppose I am a drunkard and I tell myself, today you will not drink. But the mind will say, get up. Because he is too strong now. I can't talk to my mind. It is like a fire. Let to cool the fire first. So similarly, that like a tiger, we should make the mind a little calm for some time. It looks very simple. It's a very powerful phenomena used by all the rehabilitation camps, which we can apply on ourselves. So some days you starve that addiction, which you know is no, you want to delete that addiction. You can't delete immediately. First you starve him a bit. Then what happens is that it becomes weak. Now you counsel yourself. See, it is not good for you. Waste of time, so much thing, so much time, valuable time is getting wasted. Yes, yes, yes. That's how they train a tiger. In the same way, we can also train our mind. And therefore, the regulations are there. Regulations are nothing but the same way. We are rehabilitating ourselves gradually. Uh, and even though the tendency is there, uh, because you are surrendered, just like a tiger is forced to surrender in a cage. Uh, people surrender themselves to a rehabilitation camp. In the same way, we have to surrender to the religious principles. Same way. What happens? Gradually being controlled by the religious principles. Because religious principles are not designed by uh, me and you. It's designed by the Lord. When somebody surrenders to the religious principles, what happens? It gradually, his mind becomes purified. Bharata, tolerate. And then he comes to the spiritual platform. Shri Prabhupada ki, Bhagavad Gita ki.